ladies and gentlemen, meet Failbot. I have called him Failbot because uh, it's not really a perfect little beam robot. It's my first experiment with uh, beaming right now. So uh, it's a counter circuit, 74-163 binary counter connected to a transistor and a uh, infrared receiver which is then connected to the clock pulse of the thing so it can show its programming if you like there's no programming as such it's just counting and the clock is just a clock pulse to clock uh, to clock to the next uh, binary count but it's entirely remote controlled so uh, watch this when I turn it on and uh, it does move sort of definitely fail bot See if we can make him move somewhat differently. Yeah, it's turning around. See if you can. Just see this. There you go. Come on. <laughs> it turns the other way around. What a way to make a remote controlled beam robot. But it does have it on his own life, actually. It can move around in various directions. Well, there you have it. Failbot. No schematics, just made out of the blue. Well, breadboard at first, of course. But um, basically just out of the blue. And there is no remote control receiver or anything like that at all. It is um, it is really a LS. Um, let's see if I can see, as you can see, an LS seventy four one sixty three, as you can see. And um, the stuff under here is just a battery. Yeah, it reacted to that when it when I touched it. It's a switch. I can turn it off like that. It's just a battery. That's all. All right. That's it.